wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Red D Rose report. Hey, Hall of Famer Mick Foley, he's going to be pulling double duty. I think it's uh, maybe over the weekend or it was today, I'm not sure. Uh, 11 a.m. autograph signing at uh, Cincinnati, Indiana at Moeller High School. Uh, Thanksgiving show, it's the 8 uh, p.m. comedy show at uh, Lauder House in Muncie, Indiana. And I got a little more on, on that stuff later. Hang on. Hey, The Rock tweeted uh, about his fast co-star, uh, Paul Walker, which was at a, he passed away in a tragic car accident on uh, Saturday. Uh, man, it was like nothing left of the car at all. It was like incinerated. Terrible. But anyway, Rock said uh, in a tweet, all my strength, love, and faith to the Walker family during this heartbreaking time, we find our strength in his light. Love you, brother. And believe it or not, hell is frozen over. Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon appeared together at Moves Magazine 2013 Power Women Award Gala and uh, 10th anniversary uh, celebration back in November. The two walked the red carpet together and Linda even gave a speech. Hall of Famer Roddy Piper says that, uh, he says, Legend House may be coming soon. He said, I've heard rumors that WWE Legend House is coming out. He says, baby Jesus, I can't believe it. Uh, Legend House, by the way, was filmed in January of 2012 now at a house in Palm Springs, California. WWE uh, filmed, I guess, 10, 10 episodes of the house with uh, Mean Gene Overland, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, uh, Howard Finkel, J uh, Jimmy Hart, uh, Hillbilly Jim, Pat Patterson, Tony Atlas, and Piper. WWE reportedly tried to get sci-fi to pick up the show but they weren't interested in it and last we heard that uh, it's being saved for the network. Biggie Langston and Caitlin uh, are the latest WWE superstars to join Instagram which were we were just waiting patiently for that. WWE Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels is going to be appearing at the O'Reilly Auto Parts of uh, Auto Rama I guess convention at George R. Brown Convention Center Houston Texas which I think was Saturday late on that. Hey, it was 11 to 2, uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., by the way, in case you really want to miss it. And as noted, uh, of course, I've got two reports on one here, because I uh, didn't get anything uh, in over the, the weekend. Uh, anyway, as noted, uh, this year's tribute to the troops is going to be taped December 11th at the Joint Base Lewis McCord Center uh, in Fort Worth, uh, Washington. Rather, yeah, Fort Lewis, Washington. My fault. Uh, show starts at 7 p.m. is going to be taped at uh, McCord's Field Hangar uh, 3 and 4. Mission is free to all the military personnel, which I think they still do that at uh, shows too, I believe. Uh, Davey Richards announced last night on Facebook that he is officially done with Ring of Honor and will not be appearing in their final battle event December uh, in December. Richard said uh, he and his tag team partner Eddie Edwards recently debuted for WWE NXT below, uh, well anyway they got a uh, post on Facebook that says, with a heavy heart I can announce that I myself and Ring of Honor has parted ways for good It will not be at the final battle. Please continue to support them and incredible talent that they have. Thanks for the memories. It was an amazing ride. Don Heels, Big E Langston, and uh, Mark Henry becoming a this sort of tandem together. The official WWE website published an article counting down the 10 most monstrous tag teams in uh, WWE history. The list includes uh, Power of Pain, Big Show, and Kane, Tower, uh, the Twin Towers, and the Natural Disasters. Speak of the devil. Uh, pardon me, I'm trying to do a report here. I ain't got the whole thing memorized. So, uh, <laughs> when? In addition to Christian, turning 40 years old, Justin Thunder Liger, 49 years old, two former WWE uh, wrestlers are celebrating birthdays too. Remember old Tom Zink, Z Man, turns 55. Jimmy Del Rey turns 51. And Jim Ross continues to tweet about information about his one-man show that he's going to be releasing more details Monday. And today's Monday, so just hang on. Hang on. Hall of Famer Mean Gene Oakland turned 71 years old on Friday and uh, was on Colin Cowherd 
show this past uh, week. Uh, anyway, he's picking NFL games. All right. Uh, Daniel Bryant versus Bray Wyatt in a singles match is expected for the WWE TLC pay-per-view. And uh, CM Punk is expected to work with uh, The Shield in some way, we'll find out, and possibly teaming with uh, maybe Big Show or Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust. Uh, Browning, uh, Billing, Billingly, Billington, my fault. Hey, I'm out of practice the last two days now. Anyway, she's the daughter of uh, WWE legend Dynamite Kid. Tweeted an update on him. She said, I talked to Dad, and he said, I'm all right. A reminder that Dad is the toughest man on the planet. Can't believe I forgot that. And in frequently seen WWE superstar Christian, like I was saying, is celebrating his uh, 40th birthday, six time uh, WWE world champion, was sidelined in August due to a concussion. And uh, according to the this week's issue of uh, Wrestling Observer Newsletter, which knows everything like TMZ does. Uh, he has finally uh, recovered from, but anyway, they got to get him back into action sometime in December. And by the way, Chris, Christian is the sixth wrestler to join the 40s club. What's that? Anyway, since the uh, beginning of 2012, boasting uh, uh, the WWE roster to a total of 12. And here's the list Big Show 41, that's the 40s club. Christian 40. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, 41, Goldust, 44, uh, Kane, 46, Mark Henry, 42, R-Truth, 41, Tensai, 41, Great Kali, 41, and by looking at Tensai and Kali, you wouldn't think they're the same age. Triple H, 44, uh, William Regal, 45, and who is 48 years old? The Undertaker. And it should be noted that there's no active WWE wrestlers in their 50s. Hire me, and I'll be right there. Former WWE diva Amy Weber, who was once was a member of JBL's cabinet stable, remember that, won an award for Best Dance Song at the Hollywood Music in Media Awards. Weber plans on touring in um, 2014. I don't know if she's supposed to just dance or what. Okay, now let's go on with uh, today's report. Hang on, i get through this quick. Mickey James is going to be performing at the Tremont Music Hall, Charlotte, North Carolina, on Friday, January 17th, 8 p.m. Tickets range $15 to $35. And in search of uh, WWE Live Nation website, reveals that there's two an evening with Jim Ross events scheduled, both on Saturday, uh, March 1st, 2014, from the Gramercy Theater in New York. Never heard of that theater, but anyway... One show is going to be 4 p.m., the other one's going to be 8 p.m., just giving you enough time to get a few drinks. Tickets go on sale Friday, December 6th at 10 Eastern Standard Time. By the looks of it, the ticket's going to be around $27.50 plus about a $12 fee. Comes up to about $40 to get you there. There's going to be also a VIP meet and greet tickets available too. Otherwise, you're just going to look at it. And to hype this month's TLC, WWE's website has published a playlist looking back at John Cena and Randy Orton's rivalry. Don't need to really look at that, really, because I, I think I've known that by heart now. I've seen it so many times. Former WWE star MVP has been uh, tweeting about his training that says it's for Northern American grappling event. He said, I'm not in training for WWE return. I have a NAGA tournament next weekend. So I'm returning soon, uh, though. Uh, the where <laughs> is still in discussion. Uh, the Saska twins uh, noted on Twitter that WWE uh, Studios see no evil two with Kane is still in pro- post production, and they hope that the they'll have news on you know the release date and a new trailer coming soon. The movie's been scheduled to be released in 2014. The twins wrote says. Hope everybody's ready to see Kane uh, tear it up. Uh, Twisted Twins, uh, the hashtags, all kinds of crap. Anyway, WWE, uh, T- uh, rather, uh, former TNA star Jesse Neal announced that he and his wife, former women's wrestler Brit- Brittany Savage, are expecting their first child this coming uh, April. All right, Slammiversary 2013 DVD is now on sale at shoptna.com. 
And earlier, TNA is uh, going to be taking an impact December 3rd, 4th, and 5th in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Universal Studios, and uh, I'll let you know more on that later. As noted before, old uh, superstar, this is kind of odd here, Maven Huffman. Remember him? Maven. Recently participated in an Ask Me Anything chat for Reddick a few weeks back. Well, somebody asked him something. During the session, Huffman revealed that The Rock paid for his food, rental cars, and hotels until he could start making enough money on his own with the company. Uh, he also said that uh, he can't uh, watch wrestling anymore because it's too hard for him to watch and see a lot of back problems stemming from his uh, wrestling day. I mean, he has a lot of back problems from his wrestling day. And regarding steroids, ask him anything. Maven said that there were uh, a great, they were great for him. He only weighed 205 pounds uh, when he started with WWE in 2002. Huffman added, I needed to get bigger. I needed to get bigger in a short period of time, too. Naturally, I wasn't going to get there on my own, so uh, it uh, it paid my medical bills, uh, rather medical, it paid my bills and helped me uh, survive and do a living. I said, I'd do it all again. People think it's uh, worse, but if it's done with a doctor's supervision, it aided my career. If you wanted to be a, uh, you know, um, work in a flower garden or something, you really wouldn't need that. Uh, word is Comcast Sports Chicago producer Danny Wazaki uh, was tweeted, a uh, tweeting about joining WWE during this past night's uh, episode of Total Divas. How does one get a tryout with the WWE Performance Center? He wants to know. For uh, what it's worth, the official synopsis for 2014 Royal Rumble, it still mentions having both belts. So, tells me we're not going to see a title change. We may see the two belts change at TLC. Nothing going on until Royal Rumble. I really think nothing's going to go on until WrestleMania. Uh, all right. Uh, noted before, John Cena spent Thanksgiving with Nikki Bella and her family, and there's footage shot for the Total Divas. Brand Daniel Bryan was also there. Uh, Mick Foley is making an appearance. He made an appearance, I guess, earlier today on their national syndicated Bob and Tom radio show. Uh, which is going to be replayed at uh, bobandtom.com later in the afternoon. And WWE NXT Divas Charlotte shared a text from her uh, father, Ric Flair, on Instagram where the Nature Boy told her, you don't have to carry on my legacy. It's still all you. During a uh, Divas Q&A on Twitter last night, Natalia was asked if Diva Champion AJ would make a uh, total Diva. She said, well, it's not for everyone. And it's not for me, so I agree with her. For those wondering, there's a, been a no call within WWE about having Punk and Daniel Bryan feud against each other, including a match between the two at WrestleMania 30. So if you want to see them two fight, later, most likely. Uh, am I keeping you up? I only got a couple more things. Hang on. Dustin Rhodes polled fans on Twitter asking if they would be interested in seeing him uh, do a weekly confessional video from Gold Dust. I can answer that now. No, I don't know about anybody else. But hey, Matt Hardy and his crew said uh, had people talking to us past weekend when they managed to sell 2,500 tickets to their WrestleCade event in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Uh, the Wrestling Observer reports last week that they had sold about 2,000 tickets before the event even began. Uh, the main event saw Hardy with uh, Ruby Sky defeat Carlito with Johnny, Johnny Fairplay uh, to become the first ever Castle K, uh, Wrestle K, uh heavyweight champion. And I'm so excited. That's why I was stumbling and fumbling all through this. I wanted to tell you about that. The first ever Wrestle K, heavyweight champion. I'm so excited. Hey, thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.